right, okay. I'm about to educate y'all real fast, Video City. Video City. If, don't ask Doug if your lip gloss is popping. He might not know what that means. <laughs> what we just mean, does it look good? So if I, my lip gloss don't look good right now, blame Doug. Okay, he, he confirmed it. We're popping right now. All right, I'm here with the lovely and popping FD Celeb. How you doing, lovely? I'm good. How are you? I'm really good. We got a cheers first before we start. Let's have a toast. Damn. And what are we toasting? Bula. Bula. Why not? <laughs> Shout out to the producer of the evening, Bula. I mean, he did this great compilation, and we're here to celebrate it. And if you haven't heard it yet, go online and check it out. And if you're not into FDCelebs.com, go online and check that you out, too. Definitely check it out. Follow me on Twitter. Um, all the hottest music that's out. Mm -hmm. I don't I do not do pay-per-post blogs. Oh, that's so so you only going to get what's hot on my blog. I don't let people pay me to mm -hmm. put stuff on my site because I feel like it's my brand. Of the celeb. I can't put nothing out there that's whack. So you're only going to get the hottest music out. Um, like my exclusive that. interviews with different artists. Hey, nice. I'm kind of goofy, so you're going to get... Um, what's your greatest I, interview? Um, to date, my best interview, probably... The most fun was probably um, Anthony Anderson because he's a comedian. So oh yeah, he's just hilarious. Oh, like, and he—that's when he like he's lost a whole bunch of weight now. So we talked about his weight regime, and he got a big gap just like oh, me. So we talked. So it, we just clowned on each other. So I'm goofy. So that probably was the funniest interview that I've ever done. But okay. and then I just have my home videos. Like I love interactive games. Like Just Dance, they sponsored me. So oh my all God, you be just, so, yeah, I'm be coming to your house. <laughs> I just got the MJ experience. That get, that that um video of me and my friends playing that will be on the blog soon. So yeah, we was getting it in. We oh did bad. God. We did black and white. We was getting it. We was getting it. So. Wow. <laughs> Yo, who got you the weed? <laughs> who? Who is doing, who I actually it? got my weed for free. It's crazy. I got my weed for free. I was working at ESPN at the time. Illusion and that was before they came out, and they wanted people to test them. And they sent a serious? couple to the office, and I got it for free. And I've been addicted ever since. Wow. So shout out to the weed. I'm about to get one, too, so I could, I could do some, some fun activities. I'm going to post it to your blog, and we can talk about it. I don't know. What else is going on, Al? Um, I see you everywhere. You have this great energy. People genuinely love you. What's they, that? How does that feel? Do they? Yeah, they do. I don't. I don't see nobody tweeting nothing bad about Al. Oh no, they do. They do. They be coming for me. Oh my god. <laughs> they be coming for me. Well, not not anybody that we know. Like not industry people. Most industry oh, like people anonymous, love me. Yeah. But like stands be coming for me on Twitter. Cause you know I'm real. Like if yeah. somebody can't sing, they can't. Oh my god. I recently retweeted your comment what? about the um the the My Little Pony wigs. The who? My Little Pony wigs. Can you say something about My Little Pony? No. Oh, good. Was was I was like, that's so mean, but I have to retweet this. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, but I'm so, like, impulsive. It might have been me, and I don't remember. Because, yeah. And I, I mean, that. Yeah. Like, I went in on CC, and, like, all her stands came came for me. Yeah. I be going in on everybody that's, like, that's talented, that's, like, rich for no reason. And they stands be searching their name and coming for me. I be exactly. like, do you get paid no. to freaking harass me on Twitter? But um, it's all good. But I if you want to harass Eb on Twitter, it's there for Just you to do. Just know that you're going to get harassed right oh, back. Yeah. Don't yeah. think you're going to tweet me anything and I'm not going to say anything back. Yeah. Because I'm we just going to be blocking you and keep it moving. Or we might yeah. say something to your ass. I'll say something <laughs> to you and then I'll block you so you can't get yeah. nothing back. <laughs> I love your bronzers. Oh, you do? Yes. Yeah, I got my makeup on today. I can't. Yeah, I've been looking terrible. I didn't do my eyes today. Oh, I think you look great. Thank I'm happy you, to see you, Eb. So I always see you around, and everybody loves you. Thank One you. more time, ebdecelev.com is the website. Com. Check yeah. her out. Show love. Show support. Retweet. Don't be stink. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm out of here. Let's get you back to the music. She gonna need to And my lip gloss still popping. What's good is Video City. At number two, we have Push Mantana featuring H. McCloud with They Don't Love Me. Yeah, reporting live from the dope house. Out of Brooklyn, I'm pushing this fresh dope out. It's my sound, I'm reminding them a 9 -8. I'm only giving samples out, you can't buy weight. All you listeners turn into dopers. That's why I OD like heats on these jokers. Never cut it, nor dumb it down for my smokers. I'ma always show I got sense like loafers. You niggas scrubs, I call them all loofers. Bite my style and get left toothless. I'm too hard, my bars is all truth. These kids rapping about my life and they boost. They all pretenders, the drought hit. I was in that late pen, 25 for 85 percenters. 37 was the ticket, but the number was 42. If you ain't had nowhere else to get it, I know they don't love me. You dig it? I can tell they just wait in the turn of the beautiful situation. Uh, ugly, so ugly. It is what it must be. And the slightest conversation can turn the prettiest situation ugly. So ugly. What's up, 
you're watching Video City with your girl Joy Daly, and I have Torch Triple C's in the building. What's up, nice, Torch? Nice, man. How you doing, baby? How you doing? Yeah, I am good. It's great to see you in New York. Um, tell us a little bit about what you're working on right now. Well, right now, UFOs in the streets. For those that don't got it, make sure you go get it. Number one EP in the streets right now. I'm not just saying that. Listen to your radio. There's four joints on your station right now that's probably bumping my stuff. You hear Right. Okay, Torch. So it's a lot of stuff going on right now in the industry with, you know, people just kind of like beefing, a lot of negative energy. What is your take on that? Would you ever beef with someone? I mean, you know, my beef won't be on wax, that's for sure. That's why you don't really hear me getting involved in that. But without negative, ain't no positive. Or without negative, you wouldn't even understand what positive is, you know? So, so what is your theory behind, you know, not putting beefs on wax? Because I think that's really deep. You don't hear that too much. My theory about not putting beef on wax, when you hear people putting beef on wax, then obviously they're not going no further than wax, you heard? Right. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. No, but when you don't hear people putting beef on wax, watch them niggas. Ooh, because those are the real people you might want to be worried about. Believe it. That makes a lot of sense. Now, UFO, um, that normally means unidentified, unidentified flying objects. Uh, what does it mean on your mixtape? Well, UFO means underestimated, forgotten, overlooked. I went from under financial oppression to under federal observation. So UFO stands for a lot of things when it comes to me. So for those of you that don't have it, please make sure you lend me your ear for a couple minutes and I guarantee you won't be disappointed, Jerk. Well, thanks so much, um, Torch. We are definitely going to be checking out more of you. Where can everyone find you that wants to download your mixtape, UFO, or purchase it, or whatever? Well, you can go to my website. That's TorchesNY.com. You can follow me on Twitter. It's no problem. Follow me. I'm strapped all the time. It's T-O-R-C-H-C-C-C. -C -C -C. Make sure you go there and check my company page out, Specialist E-N-T. That's S-P-E-C-I-A-L-Y. S T E N T, you know what I'm saying? That's for all you aspiring beat makers. We're always looking for beats. So, you know what I'm saying? Hit them up, send it. The work never stops. It's never enough money. It's never enough money. Trust me. Basically. And and that is what's up though, that you support independent artists that's trying to do their thing. That's a very good look. I know you get a lot of those how what is your reaction to people coming up to you in the street, like, you know? trying to work with you or trying to be all in your ear all the time. Nah, you know, I'm, I'm receptive to it, but I'm very, you know, I, I defer. You know, mm -hmm. I'm receptive. Like, I respect that. Keep doing what you're doing. Go hard with what you're doing. But I'm going to defer you to my homeboy that takes care of all that. His name is Lou. You know what I'm saying? So when you see Lou, Specialist ENT, make sure you go hard because that's the guy that I'm going to always defer the new talent and everything to me, him, G to K, we sit around a little round table and be like, nah, this beat is crazy. We need to go with this or this guy is coming up or, you know what I'm saying? So just make sure, Specialist ENT, shout out to Lou, shout out to G to K, shout out to Provolone P, Smoke Gray, the whole Specialist ENT, On Star Jewels, I see you, all my homies, the whole Maybach. You know, Mass Pike Magazine, Haitian Mafia, of course my brother Gun playing Young Breed, the boss Ricky Rose, Meek Mills, Wale, the whole family. And of course Joy Daly for being beautiful standing next to me doing this interview. And you know, Video City, number one, because the motherfucking street says so, you heard? What's up, Video City? Black Barbie right back at you. I'm here with Mr. Bravo Cliff. What's up? What's up? How you doing, Video City? What's going on? Ah, I'm good. I'm good. So tell us about yourself. What do you do? What's your, what, what's your deal? He has uh, lots of swagger, so I'm very close to him, okay? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Just came out the studio right now. I'm okay. managed. I'm CEO of AF1 INC. And um, my artist, Dolo the Bandit, we got the Heist Cold Blackout right now. You can go check that out. That's some unbelievable music, you know what I'm saying? We're working on the Monarch right now. That's a special edition after that. We're working on the Heist Cold Red Op. After that, we're going to get a pop in. Shout outs to Take Mob in the building, you know, my man, Swiss Visions and Sal Good. Show them your face. Show them your pretty face. <laughs> Video City, get used it's to this good. face. Good. Yeah, yeah, get used to this, you know what I'm saying? We, we're making some serious moves right now. We're going to get a jump in March 25th. 
you can come check us out at the M Lounge out in Queens. And you can see what the artist's gonna do, you know what I'm saying? My man, Dolo the Bandit, he's gonna be back on the scene after he got, you know what I'm saying, he had an incident in September, you know, but now he's brand new and he, he's, uh, nah, he's 93% ready, so, you know, everybody else need to get ready. Okay. You have to get ready now. Can we come and witness this? Oh, yeah, you can come out there. Okay. Come March 25th? March 25th, the M Lounge. M Lounge. In Queens? Out in Queens, Jamaica, in Queens. In Queens, Jamaica, Queens. Let's go, Mr. Cliff Bravo. Let's go, Video City. What's good? It's Video 